Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Sierra. Today I'm gonna spare you guys the formal intro for this video just because I'm so excited to be sharing with you all how I made this beautiful and inexpensive 100 rose bouquet. I do wanna start this video off with two major disclaimers so no one feels like this video was clickbait, but I made this rose bouquet in November for my birthday. And what makes this tutorial so easy and affordable is where I got the flowers from, which was Sam's Club. Now you do need a Sam's Club membership in order to have access to purchase these particular roses at the price I paid. I got them for $116, which includes tax. And if you don't have a Sam's Club membership or know someone who does, the full price for a year membership is $50. Now I didn't include that in the $140 I paid since I already had the membership, but I just wanted to be upfront about exactly how I was able to get the price that I got. But they do have a sale going on right now until January the 31st to get half off the membership, which will only make it $25. Even having to pay for the membership too will still save you hundreds of dollars in the end game. What's so special about these roses in particular is that they already come in a bouquet form, so it completely eliminates the hardest and most time consuming step of having to trim and shape the roses. And it comes with a beautiful vase. You can absolutely gift these roses without even wrapping them the way that I did in this tutorial. The second disclaimer that I have is that I got these roses roses off peak in November. So if you're thinking about getting these roses for Valentine's Day or Mother's Day, the price may go up from what I paid. They also may sell out because it's a super popular product. I do recommend downloading the Sam's Club app just so you can keep track of the stock. You don't have to have a membership in order to do so. I just wanted to be transparent with y'all so you don't think I'm out here lying to you about how much I paid for these flowers and what it took in order for me to make them. You can buy these roses in advance up to a month out. So I do recommend ordering them a month before the day you want them and having them delivered two days before you need them. So for example, if you want the roses for Valentine's Day, I recommend ordering them on January 12th and having them delivered February 12th. But if you're not buying these roses for Valentine's Day or Mother's Day, chances are you'll have a much easier time finding them in stock and at the price that I paid. Whew, that was a lot of talking. I'm so sorry, but I just wanted to get that out the way. And with that being said, if you're still interested in seeing how I made this gorgeous bouquet, please keep watching this video. The materials that I used for this bouquet included a Korean wrapping paper roll, but you can also use the square pre-cut sheets scissors, a ruler, a pencil, and tape with a dispenser just because it is going to help you grab the tape a lot easier. Also, you can include any decorations that you like, like ribbon or stickers, but that's completely optional. So if you're using a roll like I did, you're going to want to measure how long the roll is so you can cut out 10 square sheets to fold later on. This roll was about 22 inches, so I cut every 22 inches to make squares. The lines don't have to be perfectly straight, but as straight as possible so it's not too noticeable. Just trailing your scissors in a straight line should be good enough. I used the pencil to help me with where to cut. I do recommend getting the square sheets to save you from this step and to keep your corners from curling inwards. It's important to use Korean or floral wrapping paper because it's waterproof and it isn't prone to ripping like traditional wrapping paper. Once you have the 10 sheets, you can go ahead and set them to the side and pull one to the front so we can start folding. So starting off, you wanna take your square and you wanna turn it so that the part where you cut is farthest away from you. Obviously, if you have the pre-cut squares, it's not gonna matter where you started from. Then you're gonna take the bottom of your paper and you're just gonna fold it in on itself. It's not gonna be a perfectly straight line. You're gonna kinda of tilt it towards you at an angle so that at the top you can get three peaks. If you see where I'm pointing, that's where you want it to be right in the middle. It's kind of hard to explain it, so just try and pay close attention to exactly where I'm laying the paper and you can rewind it and go back to see exactly what I do. Once you get the paper where you want it to be, you can smooth it out and add tape on all of the pieces that aren't sticking together. Use as much tape as you need because it's super important that these pieces of paper don't fly apart once you put your flowers inside. Here, I'm just gonna show you guys what I did again in real time just so you can get a better understanding. It took me a few tries to really get it just because it's a little tricky at first, but once you get the groove, it really takes no time to finish folding the rest. Thank you. 
As you can see in this one, I was done folding it in less than 10 seconds, so just be patient and take your time and it'll get easier as you go. So once you're done folding the sheets, now it's time to grab the bouquet and two folded sheets. You want to lay the flowers down on the sheets, leaving about three to four inches of the sheet above the flowers. You don't want to make the paper go too far above the flowers because then the paper can start folding over the flowers or it can bend backward away from the flowers. So once you got the bouquet laid down where you want, you want to grab the paper around the shape of the stems, which you can't quite see me doing here because the way that I'm facing, but once you see me pick the flowers up, you see that I'm grabbing it right below the bouquet, kind of at the neck of the flowers. Now you don't want to leave too little paper above the flowers too, because when you go to grab the paper and wrap it around the neck, the paper will naturally drop down a bit. So you want to start off with three to four inches above and then end up with around one to two inches once you're done grabbing it. So once you've got a good grip of the paper around the flowers, you can tape the paper to your stems. And don't be afraid to be liberal with the tape. You really need this piece of paper to stick to the stems as much as possible because it'll be a pain if you get halfway through and the ones you started with are starting to come up with the tape. So definitely if it's on the inside and you're using clear tape, don't worry, you can just use as much tape as you need. I'm using scotch tape, which you can get from the dollar store, but try not to use weak tape because that is not gonna work for this tutorial. Now you're just gonna continue repeating that process, laying the paper down, wrapping it around the neck and taping it down. Try not to put too many big gaps in between. Make sure it's overlapped right. You may or may not use all 10 sheets, whatever your preference is. I did end up using, I think, nine of the sheets so I still had some left over and that's completely fine. Also don't be afraid if the part that you're holding starts to get a little wrinkled or starts looking a little rough it's fine you can later on cover it up with the accessories I mentioned earlier like burlap, twine, or some ribbon. So now I'm done wrapping all the papers around the bouquet I'm just going to take some double-sided tape Regular tape can work fine or even a stapler depending on the color paper that you have, but I'm just going to tape together all of those individual sheets just to make sure they're connected to one another. If you skip this step, the sheets are just going to have a mind of their own and they're just going to start flailing around everywhere, possibly falling backwards. So I definitely recommend not skipping this step. I like to use the double stick tape for this part just because it's the most invisible method. But if you're using clear tape, I'm sure it works just fine. So this is my very first time ever attempting something like this. So it was a lot of trial and error. A lot of the instructions I gave to you today, I didn't even do myself. I'm just trying to tell you what you should do based on the mistakes that I made. I noticed that one side of my bouquet, the paper was longer and just other things that I could have done better, which I mentioned in this video. So I recognize it doesn't look perfect, but I do think yours can come out looking a lot better than mine if you follow the instructions I gave. So last, I'm just finishing off the bouquet with a nice big ribbon. I like to use a big thick cut ribbon and cut the ends at an angle so it can look nice and professional. I think the bouquet came out looking wonderful. It's definitely a great alternative to the ones that cost $400 online. And I'm not a florist. This was my very first time trying it out. So if you aren't very artsy or creative and you don't do stuff like this, I definitely think this is a very straightforward and simple tutorial and you can definitely do a great job. I was kind of just freestyling it. So it took me a little longer to um, get it done, but I still was able to finish it in less than an hour. Okay guys, that is all for this tutorial. It was a little rough, it was a little rocky, but I got through it and I think the final product is beautiful and uh, I hope it wasn't too confusing because I know I wasn't quite getting the right angles, but hopefully I explain it well and you could possibly do it yourself and save you a couple dollars. So yes, Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Leave a comment, ask me any questions. I'm happy to respond to you guys. And consider subscribing to my channel if you wanna see more fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel content. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you in the next one.